First is Place is a platform that integrates different types of data related to our work on surveillance and diagnostics of pests and diseases. This data comes from the field, from the laboratory, or from the very genetics of the pathogen. We work together with colleagues from different disciplines to provide reliable, validated data to support disease management plans and resource mobilization by plant protection officers to tackle emerging diseases. The history of plant pathology starts with careful descriptions of symptoms, but disease symptoms can be misleading in many ways. Take as an example rash, fever, or coughing in humans. They need to be confirmed by identifying the pathogen or mix of pathogens that are causing those symptoms. For this, we need to collect plant samples from the fields. Everything starts in the field. However, surveying a field and collect samples is an expensive activity, so we need to get the most out of it. Este método de muestreo aleatorio nos permite colectar hojas y moscas blancas evitando los sesgos de selección de las muestras. Adicionalmente, tomamos imágenes de las moscas blancas y de los síntomas de la enfermedad en las plantas en las condiciones de campo. The molecular tests need to be able to identify the pathogen in plants that do not show the symptoms of the disease, but are actually infected. Imagine that you distribute a good amount of plants that look healthy but are actually carrying a virus. This is a good moment, the COVID-19 era, to communicate this idea. We are already familiar with the terms asymptomatic infections, molecular tests, number of samples processed per day, etc. This is everyday language in our laboratories when dealing with diseases affecting our crops. Para procesar un gran número de muestras, nosotros usamos protocolos estandarizados, robustos y repetibles. Adicionalmente, tenemos especial cuidado en el uso de controles apropiados durante todo el proceso, con el fin de minimizar tanto falsos positivos como falsos negativos en nuestros resultados. Once we have validated the protocol in our laboratory, the next challenge is that of multiplying these activities. This is where it is important to support and maintain close collaboration and trust with plant protection colleagues in the regions. It requires building up teams and validate different protocols to design and implement data collection. This is where local information is most critical. By choosing a specific way to collect samples in the field, we expect to detect a pathogen before the symptoms develop or when it's still confined to a small region. En algunos casos no conocemos aún el patógeno que está causando la enfermedad y se necesita un muestreo al azar para encontrar el microorganismo asociado con el síntoma. Por eso es necesario poder almacenar una contramuestra. Nosotros utilizamos silica gel. Así podemos volver a la muestra y continuar con el diagnóstico cuando sea necesario. Design and implement cost-effective diagnostic protocols and training of laboratory staff in the regions is crucial. Laboratory diagnostics has a different set of requirements when you work with hundreds of samples per week per laboratory. Protocols need to be clear. Better if translated to local languages. Given the increasing access to new technologies like portable DNA sequencing, we started last year to use DNA information of the pathogen to support disease surveillance. La importancia de secuenciar estos genomas, patógenos, es porque podemos identificar esas características particulares y poder relacionarlos con cientos de datos disponibles en bases públicas, con el fin de relacionar esto con la enfermedad en campo. To integrate this data, we require the support of data management experts, as we were dealing with different set of data collected using different protocols and standards. One idea in this area is to develop within the platform a minimum surveillance and diagnostic dataset format that could be exchanged with other platforms and analyzed in different ways. For example, with data on crop varieties to identify susceptible, tolerant or resistant varieties, or with climate data to identify environments where the disease is more likely to occur. PetDispress nació como una herramienta interna de reportes enfocados en los proyectos de yuca en los que la alianza Biodiversity International and CIAD estaban trabajando. Pero el impacto de esta ha sido tan grande y también recibido por la comunidad que ahora estamos en el proceso de incluir reportes de otros cultivos. Además, la estructura que desarrollamos para Pet Displays ha sido utilizada en el desarrollo de otros proyectos. Uno es para medir el impacto de los estudios socioeconómicos desarrollados por la Alianza Biodiversity International and CIAD, y otro es en el proyecto de estudios post cosecha desarrollado por el equipo de Harvest Plus. 
we need to shorten the time lapse between the detection of a pathogen and its report to the community of decision makers, including scientists, politicians, extension workers, and farmers. Once the laboratory data is confirmed, communication among partners with different backgrounds is done using simple, straightforward ways, like using tables, color maps, and phylogenetic trees. We test different graphic interfaces. We make use of open tools that support our colleagues when they have to communicate results at local level. The information stored in the database is also used to train our colleagues in identifying disease symptoms, interpret molecular diagnostic results, and DNA sequencing analysis. This is particularly important in regions where a disease has just emerged and few people is familiar with the symptoms or the pathogens associated to it. This experience has allowed us to obtain and provide validated data in a more efficient way. To support disease management plans and resource mobilization by plant protection officers where is more needed. This is a first step to tackle the spread of emerging diseases and in this way protect their crops and support farmers. The work we are doing in this area within the cassava program of the Alliance of Biodiversity International and SEAT is very rewarding. Since the beginning we envision a modular platform that can include data on different crops and different pathogens. We are ready for the next challenge.